All right, number four, and really same thing as question number three, solve for y, one step at a time, so to speak. What do you get over there? 2y is equal to 3x plus 7. Divide both sides by 2 or every term by 2. You get y equals 3 divided by 2x plus 7 over 2. I can start answering some of the questions pretty quickly. For example, slope m, that's going to be 3 over 2. Put a little box in that. I could put the b down pretty quickly. What's the b going to be? The b is going to be 7 over 2. I could put the y-intercept down pretty quickly. What's that going to be? Well, I know what the, um, what the b is, so it's going to be 0, 7 over 2. And the x-intercept, a little more involved, but it's not that bad. How do you get an x-intercept? Well, you're going to set the uh, y to be 0. And if you do that, looking at the, I'll write this over here, by the way. If the y is 0, you get minus 3x equals 7. Divide both sides by minus 3, you get minus 7 thirds. All right? So let me, uh, that's the 3, by the way. Let me get an eraser. It doesn't look right. So I said um, it's minus 3x equals 7. Put a little bigger box there. What's the x-intercept going to be? It's when y is 0. Well, that's how we got that equation. So minus 7 thirds. Red pen comes out. We're going to look at it. M is, whoops, sorry about that. I said red pen comes out. 3 halves, that looks pretty good. B is 7 halves, looks good. X intercept, looking good. And Y intercept, looking good. Time to get the next question.